Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seamland and uh, today we're gonna take a look at what's in my fridge, what's in my pantry, what's in my freezer. I'm gonna show you the foods that I usually eat on a daily basis and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it! I guess I'll we'll start with some of the basics. Eggs. We grow our own hens and we get eggs on a daily basis so I include them for mostly choline. I think the choline is the best like uh, nutrient in eggs and uh, yeah I like the taste of them as well. Carrots and turnips really like them uh, for um, potassium and um, some other just you know general taste. They're kind of good for the microbiome as well. Cruciferous so broccoli and cauliflower I like them for you know obviously they contain help to boost sulforaphane and uh, glutathione uh, but uh, they also have like you know dim in uh, broccoli that helps with like estrogen and uh, it's just you know good for that reason. They also taste quite nice actually. Apple cider vinegar. So this is good for blood sugar management. So it, uh, if you take this before eating uh, carbohydrates, then it becomes or it bonds the blood sugar response. So uh, also an AMPK activator, which is you know good for ketosis and uh, other other benefits. Fruits. So I. Don't eat like a ton of like tropical fruits or things like that, uh, but I have apples, which are local apples, and uh, oranges. Uh, oranges are good vitamin C and uh, also helps with you know postprandial rises in uh, triglycerides and those things. So uh, these are the kind of main fruits that I eat. Berries, I love berries. They're much more uh, lower glycemic and lower sugar than fruits, so uh, they're definitely like you know healthier. Uh, my favorite berries are dark cherries and uh, blueberries. So blueberries have like different kinds of anthocyanids and uh, polyphenols uh, help with uh, liver health actually. Whereas cherries, the main benefit of cherries is that their melatonin content, they're actually super high in melatonin. So if you eat them in the evenings, that can help with, you know, sleeping better and muscle soreness and uh, those kind of things. Here we have uh, Brazil nuts, which are my favorite nuts. They're uh, super high in selenium. And uh, yeah, they're also one of the tastiest ones. So I eat maybe three or even four Brazil nuts usually per day. From the dairy side, then uh, I love curd or cottage cheese. And uh, this is some sort of, uh, yeah, curd from Estonia. And it's uh, super high in protein. It's a really good calcium and uh, tastes also great. I do have a lot of uh, homegrown uh, fermented foods. So these are pickles. I have also like just uh, pickled uh, cabbage. Yeah, kimchi made, self-made and uh, just different kinds of vegetables in a can. Super good. Good for the gut and uh, microbiome. This is uh, liver pate and it's actually um, deer made of, from, from deer, deer's liver. So I hunt. I uh, have access to wild game and uh, this liver is, yeah, one of the best or my favorite ways of consuming liver. It's the tastiest and the kind of most easiest way to do it. I don't consume like a ton of cheese, um, but if I do, then it's uh, something like uh, blue cheese or this kind of goat cheese, uh, sheep cheese is this one. Uh, but yeah, cheese is also kind of good for vitamin K2. Although like, yeah, <laughs> that's one of the only reasons why I would uh, consume it. Um, but other than that, I don't really, I'm not a big, huge consumer of uh, cheese. Olive oil, I think it's uh, yeah one of the healthiest oils, very high in polyphenols and uh, oleic acid, good for the brain, cardiovascular health, and uh, yeah, very kind of staple. Cod liver oil, so I like like this stuff as well. Uh, I do eat uh, fish regularly, but uh, this uh, cod liver oil is a you know daily supplement. Uh, it's a, you know, essentially like a food, and this is one of the highest quality cod liver oils out there. It's uh, fresh, wild, raw. And uh, it's not like this regular fish oil that tends to be oxidized. So this is a good quality, high stuff. If I do eat chocolate, then uh, this is a really high quality, 90% pure chocolate. So this, <laughs> this tastes like, you know, super bitter, but I like it actually. It's very nice. It has MCT oil and cocoa nibs, all natural. And yeah, this is actually one of the tastiest chocolates. The same brand also has uh, ghee, pure ghee. So um, I think ghee generally is a bit better for cooking than uh, things like uh, butter and uh, it kind of tastes a little bit uh, better as well. This stuff here is the crump. So if you uh, noticed then I've uh, launched or started this crowdfunding campaign for crump. It's a hemp flower 
granule and it's super high in protein the only ingredients are hemp flour and pea protein and this thing is, is going to become the number one uh, plant-based protein in the world i'm pretty big believer in that and uh, yeah that's gonna be replacing things like you know beyond burger and soy burgers and it actually is a plant-based protein that's actually good for you. So if you're interested in supporting this uh, project and getting access to this uh, granule, you can use it, you know, the same way you would use ground beef. The exception is that it's, you know, all organic and 100% uh, plant-based. Then, yeah, head over to Indiegogo and you can find the Crump campaign there or the link is also in the description. Right now on the stove, we actually had this... Uh, this is like a traditional Estonian dish. So it's uh, this cabbage that you cook over the stove and it tastes super damn good it's uh, not fermented but uh, it uh, tastes really nice it's cooked cabbage almost and it tastes almost like sweet so yeah this is one of the more traditional Estonian like Christmas foods but uh, I like to eat it you know throughout the year quite regularly one thing I recently started incorporating more is different kinds of uh, seaweeds and uh, this brand is also from Estonia uh, organic baby seaweed and this is kombu and uh, dulse so this is super high in iodine and uh, obviously that's good for the thyroid and um, it tastes really nice you can use it as seasoning let's open it up so you can see it this is you know just the natural salt that you would get from the uh, seaweed and it tastes super nice so do have some meat cooking up right now as well and uh, this is wild deer that uh, my family and I have hunted and uh, this is yeah really I think yeah we're, you know one of the highest quality proteins uh, in the world in terms of the cleanness so uh, yeah some other things that you may not see was like you know potatoes the potatoes are in the cellar so I'm not gonna bring them out here but <laughs> yeah essentially I eat uh, yeah, carb cycling on uh, my rest days, I'll eat less carbs. On workout days, I'll eat more carbs. But the protein is relatively high all the time. And the fats are also adjusted based upon my activity levels and what I'm doing in a particular moment. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, notification below. Well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.